This video demonstrates how to create and use asset tags to manage host assets in your subscription. Asset tags are a core component within the Qualys Cloud platform, and through the use of asset tag rule engines, they adjust dynamically and automatically to changes made to your host assets. Before attempting to build or use asset tags, you'll want to make sure that asset tagging has been enabled for your account. To do this, use your account drop-down menu to select the account settings option. From here, click Security. Scrolling down to the new Data Security Model section, we can see that asset tagging has been enabled. If the account you are using does not have asset tagging enabled, as depicted here, a manager user can accept the new Data Security Model to enable asset tagging, along with some other advanced platform services. In a moment, I'll demonstrate the steps for building asset tags. Before I do, let's take a quick look at some of the basic asset tag behaviors and characteristics. First, not all asset tags are dynamic. You can build static tags that you would then manually assign to selected host assets within your account. Static tags are commonly used to establish the starting point for individual asset tag hierarchies. Dynamic tags, on the other hand, are automatically assigned to host assets based on their rule engine. Asset tag rule engines focus on different host attributes, and when these attributes change, so do their respective tags. Asset tags are commonly grouped or organized into asset tag hierarchies. These hierarchies allow you to nest one asset tag below another, creating various parent-child relationships. The idea or objective is to build child tags that represent a subset of host assets already represented by its associated parent tag. Earlier I demonstrated creating an asset tag using VM's Asset Search. For this demonstration, I'll create a tag in Qualys Asset View. Here from within the Tags tab. I'll begin by creating a static parent tag that will serve as the starting point for a hierarchy that contains software application tags, or tags designed to identify host assets that are running certain software applications. I'll leave the tag rule engine set to the no dynamic rule option to create a static tag. My application's hierarchy now has a starting point where I will begin to nest child tags. I'll use the quick actions menu to add a child tag to the application's hierarchy. This tag will identify host assets running the MySQL database application. Notice that Applications is already identified as the parent tag. However, unlike its parent tag, this tag will use a dynamic rule engine. Each dynamic rule engine focuses on different asset characteristics, such as the name of the asset, the asset's IP address, open ports discovered, the host's operating system, software installed on the host, or vulnerabilities detected on the host. The Asset Search Engine pertains to tags created using VM's Asset Search. And the Cloud Asset Search Engine will help you create tags for your assets hosted by a cloud provider such as Amazon, Microsoft, or Google. I'll select Installed Software. Enter a simple regular expression that will match all versions of MySQL. And select the option to ignore case. The testing tool will allow you to apply or test this rule against your current asset inventory. Assets will display a check mark if its application data collected matches the expression in this rule. Assets that do not have data or applications matching the expression will display an X. I'll select the option to reevaluate this rule against my current asset inventory when it is saved. And then continue and finish to save. My application's hierarchy now contains a dynamic tag that will automatically be assigned to host assets running MySQL. And because I selected the option to reevaluate the tag rule on Save, I can quickly find its associated assets. In the next video, we'll take a quick look at using asset tags as scanning and reporting targets. Thank you for watching this Qualys training video.